I hunted in the act picture of my cheating ex in his business conference room. My ex-husband Jack and I had been married for about five years. Jack was the CEO of a successful startup company while I was working from home as a freelance writer. Things were going great until about a year ago when I started getting this nagging feeling that something was off. Jack had been working late more often and he seemed distant when he was home. I tried talking to him about it, but he would just brush it off, saying that he was swamped with work and that everything was fine, but I couldn't shake the feeling that something was seriously wrong. One day he made the mistake of leaving his phone at home. So while Jack was at work, I went through it. Lo and behold, I found a slew of text messages between him and his secretary, Allison. They were inappropriate to say the least. My heart sank and I felt sick to my stomach. I knew I needed some hardcore evidence if I was going to confront him and actually accuse him of cheating, so I hired a private investigator. The PI did some digging and found out that Jack and Allison had been meeting up at a hotel near the office at least once a week for the past six months. But what really sealed the deal was when the PI managed to snap a picture of them in the act at the hotel. He didn't tell me exactly how he was able to get a hidden camera into the room. I'm guessing he must have bribed the desk clerk or something, but he would never say. In the end, it didn't matter. We had the picture and it was crystal clear that Jack was cheating on me, and I couldn't deny it any longer. I was devastated, but I also knew that I couldn't let Jack get away with it. I wanted to make sure he felt the same humiliation and shame that I did. And that's when I came up with the idea of the In the Act picture. I contacted a friend of mine who worked at a local print shop and had the incriminating photo blown up into a massive poster. It was almost as tall as me. Then, I bided my time, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. Jack's company was having a big conference in a few days. It was the perfect opportunity to expose him for who he really was. I knew that the conference room would be packed with his colleagues, business partners, and even a few investors. It was going to be glorious. The night before the conference, I snuck into the office building using Jack's keycard. I knew the security code for the alarm, so getting him was a piece of cake. I made my way to the conference room, my heart pounding in my chest. The room was huge, with a giant table in the middle, surrounded by comfy leather chairs. I climbed up on the table, careful not to make a sound, and started hanging the massive poster on the wall facing the entrance. I used a ton of heavy-duty tape to make sure it would stay up. Once it was secure, I climbed back down and admired my handiwork. The picture was impossible to miss, and there was no way anyone could walk into that room without seeing it. Satisfied with my work, I left the building, making sure to lock up and set the alarm on my way out. The next morning, I hired a process server to deliver the divorce papers to Jack at the conference. The stage was set, and all I had to do was wait for the fireworks to begin. The next morning, I couldn't help but feel a mix of emotions, excitement, anxiety, and a little bit of guilt. But overall, I knew that Jack deserved this. He needed to be held accountable for his actions, and I wanted everyone to know the truth. I decided to wait in my car, which was parked a few blocks away from Jack's office building. From there, I had a perfect view of the entrance. As the time for the conference approached, I saw people dressed in suits and carrying briefcases starting to trickle in. I knew that once they entered that conference room, all hell would break loose. Finally, the moment I had been waiting for arrived. Jack showed up, looking confident and oblivious to the storm that was about to hit him. He walked into the building with Allison by his side, chatting and laughing like they didn't have a care in the world. My blood boiled just watching them, but I knew that their little bubble was about to burst. A few minutes later, the process server arrived. He looked a little nervous but determined. He went into the building, and I held my breath, waiting for the fallout. Suddenly, my phone buzzed with a message from a friend who worked at Jack's company. OMG, you won't believe what just happened in the conference room, followed by several shocked and laughing emojis. My heart raced as I eagerly typed back, what? Tell me everything. As my friend relayed the details, I could barely contain my glee. Apparently, when everyone walked into the conference room, there was a collective gasp. They all saw the massive in the act poster and the room was filled with a mixture of shock, disbelief, and even a few snickers. Jack's face had turned beet red and he desperately tried to tear the poster off the wall, but the heavy duty tape I used held strong. Allison, on the other hand, had quickly scurried out of the room, her face a mixture of embarrassment and fear. Just as Jack managed to finally rip the poster down, the process server entered the room and loudly announced, Jack, you've been served. He handed over the divorce papers in front of everyone, leaving no doubt about the reason behind this public humiliation. The room was silent, except for a few murmurs and whispers. Jack's colleagues, business partners, and investors looked at him with a mix of pity and disdain. The once confident CEO now stood there, exposed and vulnerable, his carefully crafted image shattered. As for me, I felt a strange sense of relief and satisfaction. I knew that I had taken a drastic measure, but it felt like justice had been served. My phone continued to buzz with messages from friends and even some people I didn't know, all praising me for my bold move. In the days that followed, word about the scandal spread like wildfire. It was the talk of the town, and the local news even picked up the story. Jack's company took a significant hit, and many of his business partners distanced themselves from him. He eventually resigned from his position as CEO, and Allison was let go as well. While my life was turned upside down as well, I slowly started to pick up the pieces and rebuild. 
The divorce process was messy and painful, but I was determined to come out stronger on the other side. I leaned on my friends and family for support, and they helped me navigate the emotional roller coaster I was on. Looking back, I know that my actions might have been extreme, but sometimes drastic situations call for drastic measures. I don't regret exposing Jack for who he really was. I only wish I had discovered the truth sooner. I believe she made her point and made it well. What would you have done if you were in her shoes? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threats.